I'm right by the river guys and it's another beautiful day and I'm out here hoping to catch something but for some reason it's very dead at the moment and I have all my rods set up right now with bells and hoping I can hear some sound even while I'm speaking to you guys but check this beautiful nature out look at this uh, bridge and all those logs that are piled up behind the bridge this is insane that's why nature is so phenomenal, especially out here in these beautiful places. And check out these bugs. I don't know what they're doing, but check this out. They're just flying around and then they're darting right inside the water, into the water, and they, keep, and they just start swimming in there. This is so cool and unique. This tells you a lot about how nature really is beautiful and there's so much more to it than even all of us know. Because uh, look at this, guys. Do you see these little drops? It's not rain. That's actually those bugs. They're just hitting the water. And as soon as they hit the water, they start swimming, like this guy over here, for instance. Another one over there. Let's, let's see if we can catch one at the, at the moment. Oh yeah, another one over here. See? They, another one. They keep dropping. It's so unique and phenomenal. So unfortunately, my pond idea didn't work out. Because I think I made a huge mistake by putting that gravel on the bottom of that uh, pond. Because lots of debris got stuck in there. And that little uh, sponge filter, it cannot filter at all and uh, I have two options. I can either take that out, clean it all out and start it again, or I should buy a 65 gallon aquarium, rehome my flower horn and make a 55 gallon guppy uh, aquarium like I said before. So this is probably coming up in a few months from now. And I want to upgrade my beta home. And I think my beta deserves a, a way better home than he has at the moment because of all the babies. And I think I'm going to upgrade that to 20 gallon as well. So if you guys are interested, please uh, consider subscribing because there's so much uh, more coming to this channel. And especially if I catch anything today, I will sure, surely show it to you guys. But if I will catch some uh, sucker fish or something like that, I'm not going to bother showing you guys anything because I'm not very impressed. I'm actually here for a pike and valley. And this is the season where they uh, start to fatten up. So hopefully we catch something. So I'll see you back in my fish room. But just after I enjoy all this beautiful nature that surrounds me, guys. And this is phenomenal because I can enjoy this and be out here and relax a little bit before we get back to the fish room. And I'll give you a quick update on my fry and what's going on. So we're back from this awesome trip and I will roll a clip of a fish that we caught. We actually released the fish because we usually go just uh, for a fun factor of the fishing. We don't usually, usually take the fish home unless it's something super big and uh, tasty of course. But we re released this guy and I'm happy about it so check it out. So before I show you my fry guys, check out my uh, aquarium, my 36 gallon planted aquarium. So check this guy out. I actually got some plants, check this plant out. Isn't it beautiful? Such a nice bushy plant. And the aquarium actually start, started to overgrow. Let me zoom in a bit more for you guys. And check this out, here's my fry net. We'll get to it in a sack. And look at this beautiful plant. This plant over here actually uh, died off on me and it's due to different numbers of reasons most likely because it, this light is not strong enough for it but it is what it is but at least this one's doing phenomenal and look at all the fish they're ready to have some food so let's go ahead and check out the fry so as you see here are my uh, uh, guppy fry or whatever is left out of them unfortunately there's not many of them guys but look at them they're doing good, they're actually got some size, but not uh, big enough yet, of course. Maybe another week or so and I'll release them to, to their f mothers or fathers, whatever. And there's a few at the top here at the surface somewhere. I seen actually some babies at the top of the surface too, which I didn't really, I'll just left them the way it is. 
<clears throat> and look at my uh, catfish he's getting a friend very shortly or two friends actually so it's gonna be super phenomenal check him out he's doing very good and uh, oh there they are see here are my female guppies and they're waiting for their kids to be released to them but as you see I'm very uh, disappointed guys that I didn't get uh, all of them most of them died but at least something is better and I will work harder next time to keep them alive longer and the reason for the death I blame it on this guy over there this is the guy so moving forward to my uh, beta fry as you see there's one at the bottom over there and another one's just gonna be swimming right under the heater at the moment as you see and they're much bigger guys they're much bigger than before and it's actually time to separate them so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a few in a container and I'll put them in this aquarium over here my beta tank my male beta tank let me find this beautiful guy sorry there's no light he's somewhere over here so I will put them in there and we will uh, separate a few and hopefully they'll uh, survive and we'll have at least five uh, betas at our home it's gonna be super insane so right now their food is actually being made as you see their brine trim hatchery is working full-time ever since uh, those guys were born and I kept it running even though I had all those problems aside I still kept it running because I do care about my fish and I can't wait to show you guys I'll catch a few and show you guys how they look from the side okay guys so I caught them in this container only two of them and check how beautiful they look they're still tiny that's for sure but they got some size on them and uh, look at their bellies the other guy is on this side let me see if I can get a closer look on this guy as you see he's just swimming around at the moment let me zoom in check him out guys unreal look at that guy he's so big it's insane so what I'm gonna do with them I will pretty much put them back uh, in this uh, in their home or whatever you want to call this and I will leave them in there for a little bit more and after I'll start to separate them and hopefully we're gonna have some cool and beautiful uh, fry look at them they're just swimming around already in this uh, container what I like about this container it's a floating type uh, fry container and it just pretty much floats around your aquarium and it's it's very safe so you don't want to you you're you you don't have to worry about losing your fry or anything like that but in meanwhile it's still a phenomenal design and check check there check this guy out looking for some food at the moment isn't he beautiful and phenomenal wow can't wait guys to have them grow to the adult size so we can see their colors so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little quick video but with lots of updates and stay tuned for my other video about a surprise of an upgrade that's coming to this fish room and thanks again for all the support please uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I post and comment some positive stuff in, uh, in the description down below or in the comments down below I'm sorry and uh, I'll see you in my next videos like always. Peace out.